Cheers and welcome my friends, I'm Horatrak and we are playing the Great Whale Road. Um, welcome back, in the last episode we visited um, Denkirk and trained with the warriors there. And now we have to plan what happens in the winter. And you can see that we are fairly low on food, which is not good. Um, so we have to put a focus on foodstuffs. I think we're gonna go... A fair amount into farming. I think we should go into husbandry a bit and also into hunting. Um, we got a fair amount of warriors so that's fine for me. I mean I could go into... Um, I could more go into craftsmanship but I really don't want my, want my people to um, starve. That would be bad. That would be really bad. So... I think this got to be it. Although, I mean, I could do away with the hunting and go for craftsmanship. Getting some more supplies going would allow us to get for the uh, to go for the big um, boat. But this is fairly dangerous as I see it. And we lost we lost a farmer and I think we also lost a shepherd in the last in the last season. Yeah, I think we're gonna go full farming and um, and husbandry. There's there's really no way around it. So let's go for it. And let's hope that it works out. Winter has arrived. Where that land might still be pleasant enough, but the whale road turns into an angry and fickle beast once the leaves change color. Okay, 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 day 50. Winter storm has been lying over the island for days. Rain from the North Sea has been falling continuously. Neither men nor livestock enjoy being drenched, miserable and cold. Smell of wet wool and wet animals mixes with the smoke of the cooking fires. We need to improve the mood of the villagers before there is trouble. Um, we got this already. That's. Yeah, I hope there will be more events um, like this in the future. It's not not a good sign that we get uh, one um, repeatedly. I would have liked to see another event to to show you guys. But um, since we don't have much food, I think we want to go for um, wrestling. Your men fight like Thor himself and everyone adheres to, adheres to the rules. The final bout pitches two huge farmers against each other. They both fall down as neither manages to get up. The contest ends in a draw. But everyone had a good time as there was plenty of food and drink. At least for this night the weather is forgotten. Okay, we lost more food, which is bad. Two of your oxen have fever and one of your horses in the same stable has died. You have heard of a plague befalling animals. But the last time it occurred in your area was um, before living memory. Okay, so um, he says we should slaughter them. Kettle says sacrifice the two oxen to Freyr. And she says feed them some healing herbs. We are very low on food. I don't think we should really sacrifice the oxen. That's not good. We're gonna try to go with the healing here. Ah, oh, the two animals die quickly despite the treatment and you burn the carcasses in the hay in the barn. That is not good. I wonder what the problem with the food is. You have lost the third chicken in a week. You suspect a fox, but you cannot be certain as you haven't found any tracks and the dogs have not shown any signs of alarm either. Maybe one of you fancied some roast chicken must be a fox or a weasel okay so he say he thinks someone ate it and she says it's someone from outside um. <laughs> so I could put put up some traps around the chicken coop I could hide a dog in the coop or I could hide myself in the coop <laughs> I like the last one we're gonna do the last one you surprise a scrawny old man who lunges at you with a knife. You kill him without too much trouble. He isn't from the village and justice has been served. He paid for the chickens with his life. That sounds like a steep price, but I mean, stealing from a village in winter? I guess, I guess he had it coming. Okay. So, we don't have any food, really? 
I guess I really mismanaged that. <laughs> um, so we gained more farmers and we gained more shepherds. Uh, we had no food savings. I I don't quite get that. When we planned that out first, um, it looked like we would be perfectly able to get through the winter and now people are starving, I guess. Which is shit. <laughs> okay. And we don't have anything in storage, I guess. Well, we got the pelts and some other stuff, but we don't have any food, which is horrible. This is total shit. <laughs> um, blacksmith, what can we do with you? Um, let's have a look at our warband. We got a fancy sword. Did you get the fancy sword? You did not. Who did get the fancy sword? I thought we got a, a fancy Frankish sword. Can we not give that to anyone? I can give you the Frankish sword. Why can I not take that for for my um, for Floki? That's kind of weird. Why do we have to keep the short sex? Hmm. I guess because of your support. Well, let's give you the Frankish sword then. I mean, it reduces your accuracy, but it increases your attack. Okay, take the Franker sword if you if you so desperately want it. I mean, can I give it to Keto? I cannot, even though he said, even though he said so. Well, take the Franker sword then. It's fine. Wish I could sell these weapons. Now, what is our next quest? We have to travel south to revenge the dead. Our laws demand a price. The Saxons would not be able to pay a wear guild that high, so the price will have to be paid in blood. Make sure that you are ready as it will travel through hostile territory. Okay, we have to sail to, uh, to Hammer. Let's have a look into the, uh, into the map. Okay, we have to go down there. I guess that's where Hamburg is nowadays. Yeah, pretty sure. Okay. Yeah, they recommend the large longship, but I can't get that. Six days, 71 miles. A chieftain's hall and market on the river elf. Okay, well, let's do it then. Let's, um, still can't upgrade the ship. I went up to 60 though, so that's fine. Maybe I shouldn't have sold the food. Oh yeah, let's go. Let's set the journey. Um, we're gonna take... Yeah, I think we're gonna take these two again. I think they worked fairly well for us. And Berra can hold, um, can hold the fort. Although her morale isn't great, but this is not gonna be a... Um, a thing where we're gonna have a, a lot of fun. Because we are starting out with no food. I mean, we're going to take all the stuff that we have. And I guess I have to take some supplies. Let's take... Let's take five supplies. And that's it. I have no food. <laughs> maybe, maybe they could add some suggestions. Well, let's start the journey. I didn't know that hunting was so bad. You're finally ready. Kato will travel south with you. He says that you are no longer useless pups and at least to and at least able to scare a kitten, but he's not certain how well you will fare against Saxon wolf warriors yet. All of you want to find out what happened to your warriors first hand, and nobody argues when you decide to first visit your dead yard's brother in his burr. A burr is a castle. Oh well, it's a fancy name for a for something that looks um, like a castle if you are really friendly to it. You notice a sudden change in the water color ahead. You can see rocks just a few feet below the water line. That's not good. Um, and we're gonna reverse oars. Yeah, we avoided the rocks, that's good. Okay, 5% ship speed modified. That's fine. We're just gonna get there sooner or later. 
Wind is changing to a strong breeze from a four. What should the crew do? I think we already did this. I think we're gonna... Oh, lower the sail and row at half travel speed. Lower the sail and row at travel speed. Start tacking and beating to windward. I think we're gonna go with the half travel speed. I don't want to wear out my people. We'd want slower but steady. We still have no food. <laughs> this is definitely a recipe for disaster. <laughs> but we're gonna we're gonna um, meet a town fairly soon, I think. Arxum. Maybe I can buy some food there. <laughs> We've certainly improved as a crew. Most of you can hold a rowing rowing rhythm now, despite the pain in your arms and backs. Kettle has been working you hard, practicing the shield wall every night. Everyone is relieved once Arxum comes in sight. I'm gonna continue here. After meeting the local chieftain, a young man approaches you. He has inherited a small farm, which comes with a Danish th thrall. He is selling the farm as it only provides meager returns. He was planning to hand over the thrall to the local Woden priest when you arrived. He offers to sell the Dane to you. If he is truly a Dane, then we should buy him, says Ketil. Um, he says either we buy him or they will hang him from a Woden oak. And she says, who are we to withhold a sacrifice from Odin, even if they call him Woden here? Yeah. So we could either say we pay five silver for the man and ask him if he wants to insult Odin. How much do you want for him? Who am I to prevent a sacrifice? At least give him a sex to hold on to. Hmm. I think we're going to give him five silver. You haggle over the price for the grey beard like he were a Jarl's son. At the end you have to pay more than you were planning to. You send the former thrall back to Ulfastad with a message for the elders to take him in. Okay, so we've got a new guy for our village. One more mouth to feed. Oh, and do these guys... Yeah, okay, they have a trader. Very good. <laughs> um, what can we do here? We can sell our pelts quite dearly. So, trade away the pelts. Mm, I guess because we had that flavor text, I am going to assume... I'm going to assume that the Coombs will sell better in Hammer. Um, the mead, let's sell that. And then I want to buy all the supplies that they have. And we're also going to buy... Well, not the max of food, but at least some. What is that? A whalebone used to make tools and game pieces. That's quite expensive. Hmm. Slaves can be taken and sold anywhere along the coast. So we might be able to take some slaves, maybe. Um, let's have a look onto the map. Um... Come on. What is it here? What do you sell? I guess that's iron. They sell some pottery, some amber, honey, food, supplies. Okay. So it might be a way to, to take salt to them. Oh, now we have to start trading again. Okay, I'm sorry. First, I'm gonna sell what I wanted to sell. So here, I have the pelts. These we're gonna keep. These we're gonna sell because I doubt that we'll get a better price there. And the meat we're gonna keep for now. And then I want to take some food. Let's say we take, let's say we take 20 food. <laughs> I guess it's going to be a long journey. Then we're going to buy the supplies that you have. And then I think we're going to just stock up on salt uh, in the hopes that we can sell that more um, more dearly in Hama. I'll 
yeah let's say we let's say we take 10 that's fine we're still gonna make a bunch of money and uh, we've got some food now which is good what does the blacksmith offer Ooh, I could buy a bronze axe for him that would increase your yeah this would increase all your stats except for the bleeding You know, we could go for the long sex. Single-edged stabbing sword. Well, that's not good. That is going to increase, uh, reduce the range. Hunting bow. But this can only be used for skirmishers. We haven't yet encountered a skirmisher. I think we're going to go for the ceremonial bronze axe. I think that's fine. So, here. Have the axe. Alrighty, um, the morale of all of these guys is not very good, so I think we just have to let them feast. I mean, camping is also good, but I think the morale is more important. We're gonna stay overnight. I mean, I could send someone hunting, but rumor the second brother unlocked. What, we got a rumor? In the tavern, maybe? Let's have a look into the map. What is it? No rumor here. There's a rumor. What can we do with it? I don't quite understand what I, what I should do with that information. Well, all our people have good morale now, so I think I'm going to send some of them hunting. Okay, so we can get some more meat as well. Going to stay another night here. While looking for some prey to hunt, the party encounters a herd of the most healthy looking deer. Smooth fur and strong antlers. When the party crosses a marsh to reach the deer, they get scared and run off. Now the party is all covered in leeches and without prey. So we could pull them off, let them feed, <laughs> or purge them with fire. Mm. I'm not sure how to deal with this. I mean, leeches have been used to treat people by pulling away the bad blood. Mm. But it's gonna weaken our guys. I'm gonna light a branch to burn them off. Oh, no, that was not the right choice. <laughs> that was bad. Okay, well, we gained some food and we lost some food. Guess you can only do that um, when you actually have um, some people uh, to spare. We're going to rest one more day and then we're going to sail on. So, stay overnight and then we're going to sail towards Hama. We lost three food. So, party of four consumes three food while staying somewhere overnight. Yeah, let's, let's continue. Let's set sail. There's not much else to do in here. Ambrum? Famous for its dried fish. Yeah, why not? Could visit that town. I wonder if it's the North Sea Island Amrum. Okay, what, what do you guys have? Um, I'm sure you have a trader. Yes, you do. Hmm, you got some supplies as well. Don't have much capacity left though. Where's the dried fish? I thought it was famous for it. Are they selling food? No, they're not selling it cheaper. Well, let's go for more supplies. Okay. So we're gaining nine. And maybe some salt. <laughs> Hmm. 
That is all that we can take. Okay, so we're going to do that. Conf confirm that. Um, I think we're going to... Oh, do we have to stay overnight? I, w I would like to set sail again. Um, it doesn't seem to allow me to do that. Well, let's have a look into the blacksmith shop. Light javelin, hunting knife, that's pretty bad. And the light hunting spear. Yeah, these guys don't have don't have much in the way of things that interest me. I really would like to go here, but the game doesn't allow me to set sail, so I guess that's fine. But let's go now. It's still a long way to go. Spot a shipwreck on the coast. The wood from the ship doesn't look rotten. It must be recent. What should the crew do? So we'll swim and search the boat. We should search for survivors. Don't bother. They belong to Ran now. We're gonna anchor close by and see if there's anything valuable left. We find a barrel with meat and some salted fish. Oh, nice. Okay, we're getting some food. That is that is valuable. Aid is dead. Saxon dogs bark and bite. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna reach another settlement soonish. Ooh, that's nasty. This is the longest journey most of you have undertaken in their lives. You have left the Danish Saxon borderland behind you. From now on you will only find Saxon settlements along the coast. Hammer is still a long way to the south and everyone is excited and nervous at the same time. Okay, let's continue. Ada's dead. Saxon dogs bark and bite. I wonder what that means. As you start to get comfortable with some ale and freshly baked bread, the village headman approaches you. He introdu introduces himself as Regenhard and he asks for your help to kill some outlaws who are camping nearby in the forest. He is clearly uncomfortable asking some Danes for help, but he seems in dire need and offers to pay you in food and a little bit of hack silver. Now Kettle says we need the practice, um, but our other friend says should we get involved? I think so, I mean our values are fine. So I can, I can either sharpen my weapons and move into the forest, or I could explain that we are honored that the headman considers us worthy of such a quest, but we decline as we are oath bound and don't want to anger the gods by putting our mission at risk. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure what we're going to do, but I think I'm going to end the episode here. So we're going to leave that for next episode. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. If you didn't, tell me why in the comments so I can improve. And if you want to see more of this series in the future, if you want to see what we do here and how the fight goes, then please consider subscribing to the channel. I hope you join me next time. Thanks and bye bye.